So the basis of this review will center around the following two proverbs. The first from chapter 21 verse 6 is that the getting of treasures by a lying tongue is vanity tossed to and fro of them that seek death. And the second from chapter 22 verse 16 that whoever oppresses the poor to increase his own wealth or gives to the rich will only come to poverty. The point being that Solomon's really hammering in this notion that wealth that is gotten in an unfair manner will not go unpunished punished by God. So when we come to this week's anime Charlotte, while I think the plot's not the best, the whole point of this show is that this idea that any ill-gotten gain, and this just isn't physical wealth, but whether you cheated on your tests or manipulated a girl to like you, even simple things, if gotten through unjust means, will only cause your own detriment. Oh, and fan service warning, by the way, you have been warned. So we're met with Otosaka, who has this power to possess someone for five seconds, then he uses this power to be really bad. It really highlights how low we as humans go to engage in the greatest levels of deception and I think it's a good commentary on the brokenness of human nature because we are already so capable of committing great sins with our limited power so if we were to gain even more power or a supernatural power in the case of this anime it's no surprise that we would use it for sinful purposes. I'm even reminded by Solomon who was given wisdom by God and was the person who wrote these proverbs in the first place but even this God-given wisdom because it wasn't used by a person who was wanting to be in close relationship with God unfortunately those Solomon had great wisdom and wealth, his sinful human nature led him to lead ancient Israel down a path of destruction. So coming back to our anime Charlotte, we see these abuses of supernatural power by sinful people. Our main character Otosaka uses this power to cause conflict, to cheat in tests, and eventually try to hook up with this girl. I'll pause right here and remind you that this anime is really not that great, and I was unhappy with how the rest of the plot went, but Charlotte really does offer this perfect picture of the reality of human nature nature. Even atheists acknowledge that human nature is really messed up and that our world is broken. This is the fundamental problem that all worldviews have to somehow deal with. So in our witnessing to others or sharing the gospel to our unsaved friends and family, I think this anime offers this foundational starting point that no matter what worldview you have, how does your worldview adequately respond to our broken world? Because atheists disagree with each other on how they would answer this, I won't lump them in together for the purposes of this video. However, I have confidence in Christ who has offered us the solution. Our broken world is to be fixed in the future when Jesus returns and creates a new heaven and new earth. And in our present time, it is the responsibility of us Christians and the responsibility of the church to continue to spread the gospel and advance the kingdom of God. Coming back to Charlotte, we see this high school slash institution which has been built in order to protect these kids who have these powers. We see Tomari, the student council president, be the one who takes this role with the rest of the student council to look for other kids who might want to misuse their powers and to basically turn their lives around. To not use their powers for dishonest gain because there are consequences if the wrong people find out that you have a supernatural talent. Tomori here models in some ways how the Christian is meant to respond to the broken world. To inform the unbeliever that there are consequences to one's sin. To be sympathetic with the unbeliever of how broken the world is and in the end turn the unbeliever to the truth. It's not a perfect perfect one-to-one -one comparison with the Christian message, but we see the Christian worldview embedded in this anime. Now for the rest of the plot, Otosaka is basically forced to join the school because not only is his power overpowered, hence why he needs to be monitored in this confined environment, but he's been tasked with helping out the student council and finding more kids who are just like him. We later learn that these powers are actually a disease that only lasts for high school students adolescents, which is the in-universe explanation as to why it's only teenagers who have these supernatural abilities. We later learn of this vague and obscure scientist faction who kidnaps these kids for scientific experiments and unfortunately this is one of this anime's flaws which is that this bad actor group is never really explored at a great level of depth. However, the effects of this group have interesting character development implications for Tomori. Halfway through the anime at episode 7 there's also this absolute bombshell moment in which Otosaka's whole world is shattered and I think this episode where Otosaka grieves is actually this anime's best moment. The feelings captured with this great sense of loss and grief is really, really powerful, and it's the best part of this anime. Sadly, it does unfortunately stumble at the end with the last episode, bringing
bringing some form of closure to Charlotte's story, but being really dependent on contrivance and coincidence. Not to mention the relationship dynamic between these two main characters in the first place. Like, do they like each other? Do they not? Again, episode 7 helps develop the bond and relationship between Osasaka and Tomori, but doesn't really go any further and becomes quite superficial near the end. Which is why I've rated this a 5 out of 10, because Charlotte does have some good moments, but the story itself is strung together with a bunch of loose threads which don't really bring a great level of satisfaction. However, despite being an average anime, its portrayal of sin and dishonest gain are the reasons why I still say that Charlotte is a Christian anime. Now, the creation of this video is all because of you guys who voted in the community poll I did for this anime, so I do want to take this moment to acknowledge and appreciate you guys who have shown such a great level of interest in this channel. Thank you to everyone who subscribed, and if you are new around here, I basically do videos on how Christian values can be extracted from the anime we watch. For a deeper explanation, my video for what makes a Christian anime is right 